Hello, Internet. Thanks for uh, joining us. I'm doing another review on yet another Wii game that I pick at random. Today we're going to do Far Cry. Now, when you think Far Cry, you think a good game. Now, whether or not you like the style of gameplay that Far, Far, <laughs> Far Cry offers, um, everyone agrees it's a good series. There's nothing real negative to say about them. Um, now, this is not the case with uh, Far Cry on the Wii. Now, you would think a Wii port, yeah, sure, the graphics won't be as good. Maybe it'll be missing a few things. But, um, of course, it would have the motion control, much like Metroid or some of the other first-person games that are pretty fantastic on the, the Wii. Um, so you think that it would actually benefit from the control scheme. Um, not the case. I guess I'm just going to go right into how much I did not like this game. Um, the controls were horrendous. Um, it was much akin to um, how you would have used to play like um, maybe the first Quake before you discovered mouse look when you would use the keyboard to look up and down. The controls were horribly stiff. Um, and when you would fire at an enemy, the targeting system is very odd. There's a lot of leeway on where you can actually aim to attack. Uh, you don't necessarily have to even have your enemy in your sights. You can be a little off to the side and you still hit them. Uh, so the controls are horrendous. Um, it, it just, I mean, it's playable. You can play it. It's not a game breaking mechanic by any means. But, um, when you play a, a well done control scheme on the Wii for a first person shooter, your arms don't get tired. Um, I, I just felt so stiff and my forearms getting very tired uh, controlling the character. I played for about uh, half an hour, 40 minutes or so, and it was too much. Now, it's a little sad because, again, Far Cry is a fantastic series and it's also put up use, Ubisoft, which is um, one of the. Uh, you know the the better third-party supporters for Nintendo as of the past few years. Um, so it's sad to see such a piss poor port. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Um, so the control scheme is right off the bat it is just horrible, and you don't get any but the one. So it's not like you can remedy this by using a classic controller or, or anything of that nature. Um, so the controls make the game dull and and unfun. Um, Let's just go right into the graphics next, I guess. Um, actually, let's go into the cutscenes first. Um, when you start the game, it opens with cutscenes. Um, and the, the way the cutscenes run is horrendous. Um, I, I would say they are sub 20 frames a second. There's all sorts of tearing uh, in the V-Sync. Um, the animation is horrible. The visuals are poor. Um, there's nothing positive to say about the cutscenes. The voice acting is passable, though, so that's kind of weird. But, oh, man, the cutscenes were horrendous. So I would just say skip the cutscenes because they're going to give you a migraine. It's just horrible. Um, what else? When you boot up the game on the Wii, now, of course, the Wii is putting out 480p, um, not really a true 16x9, uh, anamorphic or whatever you want to call it, um, it kind of fakes the 16 by 9 it's really a 4 by 3 that stretches. Um, so on modern TVs, there are newer TVs, it, it, some aren't as forgiving um, in the ratio. But um, So I wasn't sure if this was a widescreen game or not, but once it loaded up, the Ubisoft logos and a few other things were just oblonged. So in the menu, so what I did is I put my TV into 4x3 mode to play the uh, game at the correct aspect ratio. But once I got past the menus, the game was 16x9. So the menu <laughs> and the gameplay aren't using the same aspect ratios. So there's another mess. That made it interesting and annoying. Um, and that didn't hinder the gameplay at all, but it didn't help with the experience. Um, 
Now, there is a plot to this game. Um, honestly, uh, the cutscenes were so horrible. I don't have any idea what it was other than shoot the bad guys with a gun. Um, and that was disturbingly easy. There was uh, I put the game on normal mode, and I went to town after never playing it, even with the bad control schemes. I had no issues uh, playing the game. The only time I died is when I jumped off a cliff to my death. That was the only the only time I died in this game after playing it for almost an hour um, on regular difficulty uh, with bad controls. All right, so yeah, let's go on to the graphics. Now, the Wii, again, being a 480p machine and not as uh, powerful as the 360 or the uh, PS3, um, still has some really beautiful looking games. Um, it, you know, a lot of uh, developers, uh, even though they have a lack of power, <coughs> excuse me, lack of power, <coughs> excuse me, um, make up with artwork and whatnot, and uh, games like Metroid, uh, The Conduit, um, Smash Brothers, I mean, there's so many beautiful looking games on the system. Um, this game did not utilize any power of the uh, the Wii. Um, if you watch the video, I would put this somewhere in the range of um, more like an N64 graphics, um, or even a DOS, an early 3D DOS game, like the first... Uh, these, Quake 2, in my opinion, looked better than this game. Um, you know, it just... It, it was really like playing a N64 game, um, but not as fun as an N64 game. Um, I don't know what else. They, they were horrendous. There was no detail um, anywhere. It, it was just mud. I mean, you could still tell what was what, but... It, it was just, it was really depressing. And I'm, I'm one of the first guys to say graphics don't matter in a game. And they, they don't, but they definitely help with the immersion experience. Um, and if you're playing on a, a semi-modern console, you'd expect the graphics to, uh, to reflect that. And there's nothing like playing... This game came out in 2007, I think. Um... And it looked like a game that came out in the mid to late 90s. Uh, I would say more mid 90s even. So it's just, I don't understand what happened here. It's like, say they got the idea, hey, let's make a port for the Wii. The Wii sold so many systems, we'll definitely make some money. Ubisoft was doing well with, you know, all their games they released. So someone just farted this thing out and said, ooh, -hoo, here's a piece of shit. It'll sell. And sell it. I don't know that it actually did. Um, it got horrible reviews, and nobody liked this game. Um, reception. Let me see if I can see anything on Wikipedia. How? No, nah, I'm not seeing anything. I mean, I guess I could look to try to find something, but I'm not really that aggressive in um, trying to find how many sales they did because I, I just don't like this game. Do not like this game. Um, yeah, and, and going back to the gameplay, the AI is ridiculous. You could just stand next to the enemies and they would. There's like a, a, some kind of lag, like, you know, in some cases, five seconds or more where they wouldn't even react and you could just be right on top of them. Um, going back more on the broken controls, the um, you shake the nunchuck, you hold the Z button. Shake the nunchuck and let go of the Z button to launch a grenade. Um, there's no way to be accurate with your grenade throwing. Um, maybe somewhere there is someone who has practiced for years and now in the Wii version of Far Cry can throw a grenade accurately. But I don't have that kind of patience. There's a little guide, kind of tells you your power as you're before you let go of the button, but. Yeah, it's, it's hit or miss. It, like, uh, it, it's horrendous. Um, also, you jump flicking the nunchuck, which is a horrible idea. Any sort of 
action like that using a motion control it's just a bad scene um, just a bad scene um, okay what else music uh, I don't know what happened there's decent music in these games but not on the one on the Wii You'll be playing through, and there'll be some music. All of a sudden, the pace will change. It'll sound really dramatic, like you're going to encounter a boss or a mini boss, something, and nothing happens. And then the music stops, and then there's no music. And then the music starts again. It's almost like there's only two soundtracks. They cycle back to back, and then they mute, and then it starts over again. It, uh, and the music's not good. It's not good at all. Um, so, we've got broken controls. Well, not really broken. We've got annoying controls. We've got really bad graphics. We've got really bad audio. We've got broken AI. Um, the plot may be good, but again, I just there was no motivation for me to really even realize what the plot was. Um, it just wasn't good. Uh, and you know, I actually thought this game was going to be decent. Um, I don't know why. You know, I don't know. This was a very disappointing game. Um, this is probably one of the worst games I've ever played on the Wii. Um, easily one of the worst games I've ever played on the Wii. Uh, now. I guess that's probably all I'm going to say about it. Everything's broken on it. Is it worth getting? Um, no. I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, unless for some reason you're going for a complete Far Cry collection. Um, now, if you do come across it, um, it's funny. It's loose price and it's complete price. Like a complete unbox is the same. Um, it's actually... <laughs> More expensive as loose with no box and manual by an average of seven cents. Um, so, anyway, so just under five bucks is what this game sells for. I think I got it for a buck. I can't remember honestly. Um, I don't even know that it's worth the dollar I paid for it. Uh, but again, if you like collecting Far Cry things, go for it. But I would just recommend sticking on our shelf and never playing it because this is a horrible game um, and I can't believe I played it for almost a, almost a whole hour I really wanted to just stop but I needed gameplay footage and I needed to be able to speak about it for this review anyway um, I guess that's all I have to say about it again just a quick wrap up bad cutscenes bad audio Bad controls, bad AI, storyline I didn't care to even learn about. Um, just a bad game. So that's all I have to say about that. They're not all going to be winners. Um, and definitely there's a lot of shovelware on the Wii. I think there's 12 or 1300 titles in North America. And um, out of the four or five I've reviewed, only two have been bad. And, the other one that was bad really wasn't a horrible game. It's still worth playing. Um, this, this is not. I wouldn't bother putting this on your on your collecting list unless you're going for a complete Wii collection. Or yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, um, share. I guess that's about it. Thank you and uh, happy interneting. Bye.